understanding file systems. In this lesson you will explore various file system types, identify file system types, and convert existing file systems. Here are the guiding questions I'd like you to consider while watching this video. What is the file size limit on a FAT32 formatted volume? Does NTFS support encryption? Can you convert an NTFS formatted volume to a FAT32 formatted volume? The first file system we'll look at is FAT. The file allocation table is located at the beginning of a logical volume. FAT was designed for small disk and simple folder structures. There's two copies of the file allocation table stored on a volume. The file allocation table is the directory that keeps track of where all your files are. If one copy of the FAT becomes corrupted, the other file allocation table is used. FAT16 was used with MS-DOS through Microsoft Windows 2000. Its maximum drive size was limited to 4 gigabytes, and the maximum volume size was limited to 2 gigabytes. There was no built-in file system security or compression with FAT16. FAT32 became available on Windows 95 OS R2 and still available today. The maximum volume size was limited to 32 gigabytes. The file size limit was 4 gigabytes and there was no built-in file system security or compression. NTFS or New Technology File System is the preferred Windows file system since Microsoft Windows NT. It has the capability to recover from some disk related errors automatically while FAT32 does not have this ability. The maximum file size is 16 terabytes. It supports larger hard drives and the recommended size is 2 terabytes but much larger sizes are possible up to 256 terabytes. Provides better security through the use of NTFS permissions and encryption to restrict access to specific files and approved users. In this slide we're comparing a FAT32 volume properties with that of the NTFS volume properties. On the left we can see a uh, screenshot of the NTFS folder properties and we're looking at a security tab. The NTFS volume is able to set security based upon users. If you look at the right image, the FAT32 folder of properties, there is no security tab. So you do not have the capability to block by users or restrict users to the file access. NTFS vo formatted volumes allow for compression and encryption. The dial this dialog box can be accessed by clicking the advanced button on the general tab of the properties dialog box of the folder. If you compress or encrypt a file or folder, the file or folder will be displayed in a different color. Compressed files and folders are blue, while encrypted files and folders are green. You cannot encrypt and compress a file or folder at the same time. In order to identify the file system type, you can use the graphical user interface or the command line interface. If you're using the GUI, click the start then click computer under hard disk drives right click a drive and click properties the file system that the drive uses is listed on the general tab under file system as shown here here on this we can see the local drive C and its file system is NTFS another method within GUI to identify a file system type is to open the Disk Management Console by clicking Start, typing Disk Management, and pressing Enter. Here we can see the Computer Management window is also open here that identifies the Disk Management Console. Once you're in the Disk Management Console, you can select a drive and it will tell you information about the file system associated to that drive. Another method that we can use to identify our file system type is through the command prompt. Click start type command prompt in the search box and press enter. Acknowledge the user account control. At the command line interface type disk part and press enter. Once you're in disk part you'll have a new command prompt that says disk part greater than. At that prompt type list volume and press enter. And this 
image we can see that we're looking at three volumes, volume 0, volume 1, and volume 2. Volume 1 is the C drive and its file system is NTFS. Its size is 29 gigabytes. If you have a volume which is using FAT32, it is possible to convert it to NTFS. You can do this at the command line interface. So at the command line interface, you can type in the command convert space E colon, so the E drive, space forward slash FS for file system colon NTFS and press enter. And this will convert from FAT32 to NTFS. And you will not lose any data. You can do a straight through conversion without loss of data. Most external drives that you buy, USB or jump drives, are formatted in FAT32 when purchased. This is important to remember for security reasons. Remember, FAT32 does not support security for uh, user uh, level security. Uh, so you may want to convert that to NTFS. So when you convert from NTFS to FAT32, keep in the following mind. All data on a volume will be lost. Back up your data prior to formatting. Format the volume using NTFS. So what we're saying here is that if you convert from FAT32 to NTFS you will not lose data but if you try to convert from NTFS to FAT32 you will lose all your data. Here are some more questions I'd like you to discuss with your group. What is the maximum volume size when using FAT32? Does FAT32 have built-in security features? Can you encrypt and compress a folder or file on an NTFS volume?